Listen, you have a mother who's dealing with schizophrenia. The father of the child goes before the judge and say, look, she's a good mother. But underneath these circumstances, she's unfit. Can I please get full custody of my son? Judge told him, no, I'm going to keep things the way that they are. Days later, the mom have a psychotic episode and put the boy on a swing set at the park and push him for over 40 hours. She pushed him until he was dead. Was that her fault? No. She didn't know what she was doing. Again, her mental health is documented, which is why in the end, she wasn't charged with his murder. But why was this allowed to happen? And I say allowed because this boy could have been removed from his mother's care. The dad showed up to court saying, give him to me. My son is in danger over there. But his pleas fell on deaf ears. And if he would have took matters into his own hands and went over there and got his son, he probably would have got arrested for kidnapping. And that wouldn't have changed a thing because he would have went to jail and his son would have got sent right back over there with his mother. It's almost like the dad was in a situation to where he had to just sit back and wait for something to happen. And you can't make me believe that the people in that courtroom and that judge didn't know something was going to happen. And now that the mother is back in her right state of mind, she say, I have to find a way to live with what happened. You see, what y'all did didn't just hurt the dad. It hurt the mom, too, because she didn't know what she was doing. But the court system was fully aware of what they was doing. You don't put a child in a house with somebody that's dealing with mental health issues. When we vote and put these people in positions, we are counting on these people to make the best decisions. We vote judges in. Judges don't just get that position. The people put them in that position. So when they get there, we expect them to be fair. We expect them to make the right decisions and not just make the right decisions for a certain group of people. We want them to make the right decisions for everybody. And if as a judge, you don't know if a child is safe in the house with somebody with schizophrenia or not, you're not qualified to be in that position. You knew you wasn't helping the situation by letting that child stay there.